You know, one of the things that I think is really important to realize is that when the Bible speaks about God's work as creator, those passages that we see, the creation accounts that we see, are scientifically credible. Genesis 1 to me is one of the most remarkable passages of scripture that if we understand day to be a period of time, shows an incredible correspondence between the sequence of events described in Genesis 1 and the, the history of the earth and the history of life on earth. Uh, for example, when we look at, the, the, at Genesis 2, which is describing the earth in its primordial state, you know, it says that the earth is formless and void, which in the original Hebrew means that the earth is a wasteland, that the, the earth was covered with water. The Spirit of God is hovering over the water and it was dark everywhere. Well, this is a, a remarkably accurate description of what the early earth was like when it first formed, that it would have been a water world and that because of the high level of, of interplanetary debris, which would keep the sunlight from reaching the surface of the earth as well as the very thick atmosphere of the earth, it would have been a dark planet if you were a hypothetical observer on the surface of the earth looking upward and looking outward. And so this is remarkable that Genesis 1-2 is giving a description of the earth that is in line with what planetary scientists think that the early Earth was like. But the way I look at it is that if the creation accounts are scientifically credible, then it means I really should pay attention to the message of Scripture. And what we see in Scripture is this mind-blowing <laughs> message that says the Creator that brought everything that we see into existence that is great beyond our imagination wants to have an intimate relationship with each of us and through that relationship reveals to us a truth about who we are as human beings, about our value and our worth as human beings, that we through that relationship can experience grace and mercy and love, a loving presence that will last for all eternity. And that that relationship is possible because of the life, death, and, and resurrection of Jesus Christ, who uh, builds a bridge between us and the Creator.